All right, what up everyone? Zona right here coming at you with another video. Today is the Esports Awards of 2018 vote for with the entire finalist panels. I'm going to show you my vote. So the first is Esports Breakthrough Game of the Year. We have, uh, I'm not going to tell all the names, but it's pretty much uh, going to be Fortnite. That's the Breakthrough Game of the Year. Esports I don't know if Fortnite is an esports yet, but just because of what it's gonna become, how many money is invested, what we've seen already, I mean, all the other games are not even at their ankle. Maybe Clash Royale, uh, they just hit 3 million followers on Twitch as a game, which is really huge, but it's just not at the scale of Fortnite. Everyone is talking about Fortnite, 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 so it just, just makes sense. Second is esports commercial partner of the year. Uh, I already selected Omen by HP. Uh, before starting this video and the reason why is that all of them are great sponsors some I like more than others to be honest but Owen by HP has been sponsoring a lot of uh, creators that I, I like and have been sponsoring events that were absolutely amazing aka uh, the Pro AM at E3 for Fortnite uh, a lot of friend streamers are sponsored by Omen that I really look up to so this is a brand that has been doing a lot for the influencer spectrum and the industry overall and I really want them to win. Esports coverage website of the year. I'm going to give it to the Daily Dot one uh, the dot the Daily Dot the Dot Esports uh, just because they're just so good. Like they're just so so good. I love their content. Uh, I have a, I'm just subscribed to every newsletter they have. I think they have a weekly one and a daily one. Uh, the Daily Dot and the Weekly Dot. That's why I say the Daily Dot because I read it every day. Uh, but most of them are really great. This is great. Uh, the score is great. I do have the app. And Bleeds Esports is also really good. So I would really vote for one of those two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose this one because that's the one I consume the most. But Bliss have been doing amazing content on YouTube. So you guys should definitely, definitely check it out. Esports Game of the Year. So you have to know that Fortnite is only like uh, four or five months old. This is probably going to... Uh, tilt some of you guys or maybe you guys will understand I'm gonna try and make a point but I really want to vote for Rainbow Six Siege because I've been learning a lot about this niche esports that we've seen and I've been looking at the growth that they had over the years and how they have such a strong community and that they've been doing amazing events and they have a World Cup and they have great teams and their community is absolutely like they're big fans like it's a big thing uh, it's not the biggest, like it's not like millions of viewers, uh, biggest streamers streaming every day, all day. It's not those esports that make the most noise, but it's definitely an esports that I want to support with my vote. Just because they've been doing a lot and they've not been taking the credit that they deserve. So my vote goes to Rainbow Six Shares. Of course, I think a lot of people are going to vote for Fortnite or PUBG or even Overwatch. But no, it's just not my thing. I want to really give that vote to Rainbow Six Shares. Next, we have uh, we have eSports Hardware Provider of the Year. I'm going to give it to... Uh, Razer has been killing it as well. Zoe is doing a great thing as well. Uh, I'm surprised that Astro is not in here. That's uh, that's kind of where they do great headsets. I'm gonna put Logitech G just because I like the Logitech is a brand that is way bigger than gaming, and the company has decided to really like to really like branch and create Logitech Gaming. So in my past, I had the chance to work with Logitech Gaming when I used to work for a startup, and I had the chance to communicate with the person that takes care of the webcam. So I'm currently using a Logitech webcam, and it's just a company I've been really liking and following, and I really like the move they've done. Although, all those companies here are great, I have nothing bad to say about any of them. Omen HP, I already voted for them, but I'm going to give this one to Logitech Gaming because I think they deserve it. Esports Journalist of the Year. So this one is going to go without a doubt to uh, Lore uh, Bully uh, because, first of all, I used to work with her. I, I mean, she probably doesn't remember me, but we worked in the same company and we were probably at the same time at this company for just a month or two. Uh, but now she's becoming this big time journalist of League of Legends and esports. Uh, she's worked with Lowly Sports, she's worked with Riot Games, she's worked with a lot of companies, and she just became such a, a great value for any uh, French or. I mean, I don't know, I think she did some stuff, stuff, stuff in English, but at least for the French scene, she's adding a lot of values to the content creation. And I respect that. I, I, want, I really want her to grow more and succeed. Uh, she really, really does deserve it. Esports Photograph of the Year. So, I'm going to give it to him. Uh, yeah. 
Esports Publisher of the Year. So I'm gonna have to give it up for Epic Games with the announcement of 100 million dollars in 2018, guys, or in the next year or in the next 12 months. They announced that after being so silent about esports, about competitive gaming, never calling it esports, never saying if they're gonna do what they're gonna do, or they just say, okay, guys, we want to do this. We're gonna put 100 million dollars in cash prices. And what they've done so far is absolutely insane. Uh, they've been supporting a lot of influencers that are doing their own tournaments. Uh, they've been working with influencers, and it's just been great, man. Epic Games, I just like, I just love them. Like they've just been doing such a perfect job with Fortnite. Uh, it's something to really admire. I, I really, I have so much respect for their team. The way they communicate, the way they do things, the way they tease, the way they announce. It's just everything is just play by the book and it's just like I'm just taking notes and, and like remembering everything I do to be honest. Uh, Esports supporting agency of the year. So I don't know any of them except ESG Law, sorry. Uh, just because they've been supporting a lot of pro gamers when it comes to uh, contracts and just to make sure they don't get scammed. I think at the start they even offered free services for pro gamers that couldn't afford uh, lower fees. And I think it's really cool man. It's like hey. Uh, I want to help this. I want to help this industry grow. So why not just do that? And I think it's really cool. So they deserve the vote. I have to. I have to admit, I don't know all of them. I think I know Evolved, but that's that's yeah, pretty much it. Esports videographer of the year. This one, I want to give it to. Uh, I want to give it to Gabriel Ruiz, who is the content director of Hundred Thieves. Uh, Hundred Thieves is a team in the NLCS. His content and. I mean, I, I believe there's a team with him of filmers, of editors, of content creators of all sorts, of graphists and all that. But like, the Hundred Thieves YouTube channel is really great. It is exactly is the example of what an esports team YouTube channel should be, and I think it's absolutely insane how much work they put into it. Like the way they make us travel into uh, the backstage and how the mindset and the thought process of each pro gamers, how it's like not necessarily turned around Nate Sean, who is like a big, big personality in esports, but more into like the house and the activity and each player's. I don't know. You feel like you're in a gaming house. You feel like you're going to compete with them. And it's really cool. I think it's really, really cool content. And I say that I've watched Fnatic series, TSM series, CLG series, uh, Team Liquid. And 100 Thieves for me is the best. So, funds up for this guy, Gabriel Ruiz. Stream of the year, so we have like the most popular ones, like Ninja, Dr. Disrespect, Myth, uh, Tyler, Pokey, Shroud, Ninja, all that stuff. I'm gonna give this price to, to someone that maybe not a lot of people are gonna vote for. I mean, a lot of people are gonna vote for her. Uh, I guess I just gave it away. But I think a lot of people are gonna vote for Ninja, and I think Ninja is gonna win this. But I really wanna vote for Pokemon. Pokimane, Pokemon, sorry if I don't pronounce it well, because I just have so, I just have so much immersion for her, I think she's great, I think what she does is very uh, humbling, and, and like you just, it's a source of admiration and respect, uh, the way she portrays her content and her personality on, on a live show is very interesting, the way she tackles different challenges like a podcast, uh, vlogs, YouTube and Twitch, while being a woman in this industry, it's just like, I just have so much respect for her. Uh, I really wish to meet her one day and have a, actually like a genuine conversation. She seems to be a very uh, intelligent and interesting uh, uh, person. And I don't know, I just admire that. I feel like you see how in like this whole panel of men uh, in a community that really is kind of like insulting to women. Like we have easily like, it's just so easy to insult people on the chat and just go, go by your day. Uh, but she, I don't know, she takes on the challenge very well, and I think she, she's been blowing up. Uh, she's also been transitioning from League of Legends to Fortnite, which is a very risky move for a content creator, because half your audience wants to see you succeed, but half of your audience wants to see you play League of Legends. She made the move, she took the bet, and what, what she's doing with offline TV as well, is I think it's really cool. So, shouts to her, honestly, like, her past year has been amazing, and I only wish her the best. The streaming platform of the year. So definitely, uh, definitely Twitch. I mean, this this is pretty obvious. Twitter, not there yet. Facebook, uh, no, nah, no. Nah. Facebook, GG, no. I knew it was gonna happen. I think that's. I, I was talking about Facebook gaming maybe like years ago on on a podcast or a video I made, but no, nah, no, nah, this isn't this isn't gonna work. 
Mixer, it's pretty cool, but there's no community and, and the brand is kind of like, it's kind of shit. YouTube Gaming, I honestly don't understand YouTube Gaming. I think it's, like last time I went onto YouTube Gaming, I saw someone rebroadcasting re live what Ninja was doing on Twitch. And he had like 15k viewers, which I thought was absolutely like, I was like, what the fuck? I think I tweeted about this. Facebook just takes no action because they want to, they want motivate people to stream on, on, on YouTube. Twitch, best streaming platform of the year, of the century, of whatever. It is just the shit. I'm going to submit my vote uh, on this. I hope uh, that I made this uh, nice and, and quick. I know I talked a lot, but I really want to explain you a little bit where uh, my votes come from. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys go vote. This is super important. Uh, so please do it. It's in November 12th for the results. It's going to be in London. So if you guys are in California like me, you're going to have a, a jet lag. Thank you for watching. The link to this will be in the description. I'll see you for the next one tomorrow. Cheers. Okay, no mistakes, but I'm burning out. 21, will I make it out? 18, we would talk a lot at that coffee shop where I met you at. Fast forward to the good times, I strayed away. For the past two years, I thought I had to please others. Thought I had to be something, but I had to be myself. This my life song. Life song.